Uh, let's move on to the next topic, Jeff. I do have in mind. Well, I thought uh, a particular issue, which is uh, front and foremost in um, both Telmo's and, and Robert's uh, watch, is domestic family violence. Um, it just seems to be, along with ICE, one of those sort of community problems which is ever expanding and no one um, has a, a complete solution to it. And certainly, I'm certain Robert will talk about recent government initiatives, but I certainly know that the ALP has views upon um, how the overall coordinated family uh, response will be to family violence may be addressed. But um, I think there's a community acceptance that there needs to be some level of major inquiry about a coordinated approach. I mean, for example, the police commissioner himself has done a, a sterling job in terms of trying to promote that. And we'd be very interested to hear what the respective parties' views are about yes, domestic violence. Yes, we have seen uh, fairly in the media this issue, Robert. Uh, mm. What are your future plans uh, in relation to this aspect, and mm. aspect family violence? Well, certainly as a, a government, we believe there needs to be action taken at, at all aspects. First of all, of course, uh, prevention to make sure that uh, people don't uh, become victims of family violence in the first place. That requires... In, in part a long-term change in social attitudes and that needs to extend to all aspects or facets uh, uh, of the community and it's a bit like the campaigns that uh, in Victoria have operated successfully in previous years for example about uh, drinking and driving or the need to wear seat belts. You've just got to change social attitudes uh, mm -hmm. over time and you need to make it clear that <coughs> violence against a family member in the home is just as much a crime as violence against a stranger on the street and it will be treated as such by the law and will be treated as such uh, by other members of the community. It is just not acceptable. So there is a need for education from what I gather. So are there any plans for such uh, education or awareness program and especially from a multicultural point of view for people coming from different backgrounds who may in their culture and society accept some form of family violence is accept as an acceptable form of let's say disciplining their children um, any plans in relation to awareness well, one of the key things we've committed to as a government is uh, an attitude changing campaign and that does need to extend into multicultural communities, all, all different communities. I've been very impressed with some of the work that uh, various community legal centres in touch and others have been uh, doing to engage on the issue of family violence in uh, uh, multicultural communities, uh, others are working in the uh, in Indian community and uh, as you allude to, uh, there are laws in Australia about what amounts to crime and what amounts to violence and everybody needs to uh, respect those laws and uh, needs to keep fellow family members safe and free from violence uh, uh, under Australian and Victorian law. And tell me, what does the opinion of the Labour Party in relation to family violence issues and your mm. uh, opinion as well? Well, the, the first thing to say, and I think it's particularly incumbent on me as the Parliamentary Secretary to the leader on multicultural matters, is to uh, be absolutely clear in that there is no room for domestic violence or acceptance across any of the cultures or any of the languages. It should not be and can never, and I know that is hardly ever, but it's not acceptable to justify this crime on any cultural or religious or cultural backgrounds or heritage, number one. Number two, as you would be aware, the uh, party is saying that we need to have a royal commission that looks into, uh, uh, in a very holistic why hollow government and looks at uh, how we can best address the causes and the effects of this crime. So it's we an are looking at step. having a panel of experts and in the multicultural sense there will of course be uh, experts on the multicultural communities, whatever the numbers, that so they can assist the panel of experts. But let me just finish on this. It is my very strong contention uh, that uh, we need to try and be as bipartisan as we can. This is a horrific, horrendous crime, and the best that we can do, I believe, is that we try and work with each other and embrace each other and collaborate, whoever wins government after the 29th of November, because the best we can do to ad address and tackle this issue is to try and work through and hopefully be very bipartisan. So in that sense, if I were the Attorney General, and I know I'm, I'm not going to be, <laughs> I would be inviting the Attorney General uh, and all the opposition, whoever that may be the case, to try and work together. It's a crime that we must as a society and certainly the political parties should uh, try and work together.
Very so, important in my judgment. An important statement you just made is uh, if the Labour Party comes to power, there will be a Royal Commission on Family Violence. Is that what you said? Correct. Good. Dinesh, uh, just two other issues I'd raise in regards to it, and, and Robert will be well aware of this one too. Victorian Legal Aid had a pilot, a pilot program, I think it had legal services uh, board funding, where they worked with a number of uh, multicultural communities um, in uh, inner suburban Melbourne, had outstanding results, particularly of African communities, of basically educating and counselling uh, young women about their rights and uh, what remedies, and I'm not talking about necessarily legal remedies, but housing remedies where we are stuck in positions where we are subjected to family violence. And particularly for vulnerable new Australians, I think that's a, a major issue. Secondly, um, I know there is a pilot done, I think, in, in, in where I come from, near Maryborough in Victoria, where the community took a level of responsibility for a range of family violence. So it wasn't just one where um, someone would apply to a police and go and get a interim uh, intervention order, but the community would take some responsibility for ensuring that behaviour which was not to be tolerated was um, involved uh, involved the community somehow in terms of counselling and guiding people about what is right and what, what is wrong behaviour. Thank you. Can I just briefly comment what I think should be commented publicly? The example of a community, and this is multiculturalism at its best, in some communities people talk about family and domestic violence. In other communities, in order to engage, especially males, because this is a gender issue, let's be clear here, this is a problem uh, uh, particularly caused by men in our community. What they do in the Western suburbs is uh, they do workshops around uh, uh, family and community harmony. All right, that's all the time we got for today. In the next episode, we will talk more about multiculturalism. Let me thank Jeff, uh, the President of the Law Institute of Victoria, for your participation here today. Terrific being here. And the Attorney General, Robert Clark. Thank you very much, Robert. Thanks, Nish. And Telmo Languila. Thank you very much. Thank you for having me. You can visit our webpage for more information, www.lawhelpaustralia.org or Catch Up TV on our YouTube channel. Thank you.